Alright? It's only fair. You're three foot? Wait, why am I three foot? Oh, I see. That that it that's why it looks so big. <laughs> I could have sworn I saw a TM over here. Where was it? Was it up here? Is it all the way up there? Good god. Can I make that? Hold on. Let's get up there. I want to get all the way up there. Do you, like, learn to fly eventually? Is that why there's stuff that I can't reach? Interesting. Okay, well, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna agonize over it. It's just an item. Uh, I do want to figure out my heading, though. Oops. Wrong button. Give me my heading. So if I go straight across this river, I can find this guy. So this should align me. I gotta go that way. Alright, easy peasy. I can do that. I can make that happen. Oh, a sand cobra's here. Or whatever those things are called. Hmm, there are trainers to fight. I don't really feel like fighting them, though. Hey, come on, I want to... Get me up here. There we go. <laughs> they can't possibly let me lock out of that, right? Developers putting things so high that you can't get them. Yeah. I mean, if I if I wanted to spend, like, you know, ten minutes struggling on it, I probably could make it happen. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. So, our, our objective is, like, over this large ridge. But how do I get there? Is that a TM down there? Nah, it's just an item, whatever. I don't need an item. I will stop for a TM. I will not stop for just like a random thing sitting on the ground. The hell? What did I run over? That's a dicklet. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy, but uh, this is not. Oh, arena trap, really? Um. Okay. Uh, well, in that case, let's uh, throw chimes out here. Oh, I can't be switched out either? Damn. Um, okay. I guess we're fighting. This is not a good matchup. Charcuterie is going to get his butt kicked. Can you, like, kill him in two, though? Oh, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I mean, Sucker Punch ain't gonna work. I got an uh, status effect move on you. This dick is out for blood. Yeah, he's like, no mercy. Yeah. Okay, well, you got me, Diglett. Congratulations. I'll just lay down now. Uh, can I run away now? Run. Yeah, there we go. All right, you took my charcuterie down in the meantime. Gonna have to... Hell out. <laughs> we bonkin'? We bonkin' now? Somebody bonk this, uh... Somebody bonk this dang old... Diglett. Causing me problems. Can I... Can I get up there? Oh, 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 hang on a minute. Oh, it's so close. Can we? Oh, I see a TM up there, too. Hang on. Surely I can make this jump, right? Oh, there we go. I knew it. There's that TM. So, a little factoid about me. I jokingly suffer from OOCCD. Something can be labeled as obsessive original character creation disorder. <laughs> oh, I love it. I mean, you gotta make a lot of, uh, you gotta make a lot of characters when you're writing fiction, right? My partner has, like, an entire compendium of uh, the characters in the epic fantasy series that they write. It is it is a sight to behold. Uh, I think... Okay, so my objective is over there across these mountains. How the hell do I get past them, though? It appears to be a sheer wall. 
Maybe I need to go around. A fake ailment. I just love to obsess with the create characters. <laughs> uh, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm beginning to think that I can't get to this area yet. So tell you what, let's go for this star badge instead. Because I think that's a little bit easier to get to. Let's go. This way. Damn, we got some real distance going now. Who are you? Little light bulb lads, okay. Don't really care about those. Oh, TM though. Please, thank you. Spikes. One of my favorite competitive moves. I do love the setup in competitive. I don't love to do the stall tactics because kind of obnoxious. <laughs> I don't I don't like, you know, I don't disrespect anybody who does go with for those builds, but I try to avoid them myself. They tend to be a little bit more problematic than I prefer. Can I get on top of these? Aha. So we're going this direction, yes. Oh god. Oh, no, no, no! I was trying to thread the needle. <laughs> uh, wasn't gonna happen. Want some starters to just hatch some? Uh, not yet. Not yet, I think. I think I'm good on starters. No, don't run into the dang guy! I kind of like to just, uh... Usually when I'm playing a Pokemon game, I usually like to kind of keep my same starter through the... through to the finish. And then, ah, frick. And then uh, when I get to the post game, that's when I start trying to collect all the other stuff. I think I'm still pretty far away from post game. <laughs> but thank you for the offer, though. Oh, there's a Pokemon Center. Give me a little healing, please. A Boltorb? Just vibing? I'm beginning to think. I need a better, uh, better Pokemon to take on this next area. So the next person we're gonna fight is a Poison uh, Star Group. Hmm. I think we need more Pokemon. <laughs> well, we can take our Steel Snake guy out. Oh, he we're here. Is this it? I see the flags. No, I guess we're just. This is the way to it. Yeah, 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 this is the camp right here. Okay, I got it. Well, I guess it's time to figure out what we're doing. Look at that little sand guy is just, like, hiding under the tree. That's yeah, so cute. Free Lucario? Ooh, fancy. Um, let's see. I'm actually trying to consider what to do with the, uh, Cronus siblings? Buta and Bavin? Anthro uh, Coridon and Anthro Miridon, respectively. Ooh. Interesting. I like it. Ah, oh, it's you, Drip. Oh, look, it's Director Clavel. <laughs> like I said before, the name's Clive. Please don't forget it. Anyway, Drip, I owe you one. Thanks to you, I've anticipate been accepted into Operation Starfall. All right, what's your end game? I need answers, that's all. How do I resolve this situation with Team Star? Who's causing us members odd behavior? What situation? Team Star is subject to more than a few nasty rumors swirling around the academy, you know? Some say their bullying has caused a worrying number of students to drop out of school. Others say they're holed up in their bases, plotting some trouble for the academy. But those are rumors. The matter I'm directly confronted with is something else. I'm talking about Team Star's persistent truancy. They've all been skipping classes for a while now, five of them in particular. So-called bosses of Team Star haven't had so much set a foot inside classroom for over a year. And it seems the, it seems the team's rank and file have recently started stirring up mischief as well. And that's why I took it upon myself to issue a direct order to Team Star to disband. I informed them should they refuse, I would have no choice but to expel all students affiliated with their team. Buddy, if they're not going to classes, I don't think they care about expulsion. I'm afraid there's been no response. The deadline I set for them to make their choice is between dissolution and expulsion is nigh upon us. <laughs> uh, so you see, I overheard you talking about 
Ah, uh, talking on the phone with Cassiopeia. It couldn't have come out of more crucial time. Speaking of which, it's Cassiopeia. Can you hear me? Another time, then. Be careful. And no, no, no need for the poking dagger. It's fine. So you're coming up to one of Team Star's bases. Was there someone with you just now? Uh, yeah, nobody. Absolutely nobody. Well, be warned that Team Star will have its guard up after losing one boss already. This base won't go down as easily as the last one. Proceed with extreme caution. I'll be in touch. Um, okay. So you are a poison type. Oh, hello. We got some more Pokemon over there. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I want to... What do I want to do? For poison type. Let me just see what I have available. I think our little sneaky friend is probably going to come out. Because he's, like, resistant to all poison. What is poison weak to? Ground, right? And that's it? Psychic? Dark? It's weak to psychic and dark. But steel is a good resistance, and you've got some, uh... Let me see your stats real quick. Mud Slap, Smackdown, Bulldoze. Yeah, you're pretty good. Let's swap you in. Um, poison is going to do... Well, I'd like to keep Charcuterie in so I can get some levels on him. Let's swap out Katamala... Hickory, same way, I'd like to get you more levels to evolve. Well, I know you, you evolve by walking, but, like, also I want you to be a little, like, competitive level. So here's our team. This guy, this guy, and this guy. These three will help us uh, take down the room itself. Because I don't really think I have anybody else who is poison-resistant or otherwise strong against poison. Hmm. Nah. Ground and Psychic are their only weaknesses. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, I don't have any Psychic Pokemon. I don't even have any Pokemon who know a Psychic move. Oh, wait. Nah, it's Hypnosis. Zen Headbutt? I mean, if we evolve Fish... If we evolve Fish, then maybe Fish could be, like helpful here. Hmm. You know, I think that might be a solid idea. Let's swap fish for chives. And let's see if we can get these guys leveled up a little bit. So these are going to be my two uh, kind of like bruisers taking down these guys around here. What is that? Oh, he's just vibing. It's fine. Don't worry about him. <laughs> so you're poison type. You can you can very easily take you down. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go find some trouble. Toxic spikes. Hell yeah, that's another one of my favorites. What are you? Grass type. It's a log. I'm just I'm, I'm like on the hunt for. Stage 2 Pokemon I can kick down. Let's look at these trees. Is this the the graffiti thing? It is, isn't it? Check it out. There's all these graffiti Pokemon hanging out around here, and these are the ones who are um, doing all the, the painting on the rocks and stuff. That's super cool. No, don't fight me! I just want to auto-fight you. I can run away from you. Couldn't get away. It shouldn't take my turn if I can't get away. Come on. All right, fine. I'll kick your butt then. Really? You poisoned a rock? I thought, I thought rocks couldn't be poisoned. No, nah, I'm thinking of steel. Okay, fine. We'll do it your way. I will do a Machop. I mean, there's a lot of... Damn. There's a lot of poison Pokemon around here, so I guess this is good practice for finding a good type matchup. We're not going to survive this fight, are we? Uh, okay. 
Swap out for Breen. Greenland, save our day. Send a DM to you on Twitch small. Ooh, there you go. A little bit of AO3 sharing. You'll love to see it. This guy is not as impressive uh, anymore now that he's not massive. And now I'm confused. I do appear to be confused. Hmm. Do I have any special attacks? I do. Well, if my special attack is boosted, I might as well use it, right? Please don't hurt yourself. Yeah, there we go. Wow, like no stab at all, huh? Right. Okay, you can't double confuse me, bud. That's not how this works. I get... Mm, let's see what you do. 20? Well, that's why I didn't do anything. Let's do a bulldoze. Help me out here. No! That's okay. We'll survive. This guy's not really doing much damage to us anyway. See, this is why I wanted to do the auto battle. <laughs> We're like in here so, uh, in here so long in these fights. Okay, now we're talking. Where is the nearest Pokemon Center, by the way? We might need a refresh. Fortunately, we saved our one guy before he passed out. So you're... Uh, actually, you're going to be the lead now. No, you're going to be the lead. Can we heal you? Where's our... What's it called? Antidote. There it is. Now, go cause some problems. Well, I take a sip of water. Okay. Now we are in vibe mode. How was that thing? Oh, he was sleeping. Ah, oh, okay. So we're gonna get lots of like cheap and easy XP like this. Hmm. I'd like to search for, like, stage 2 Pokemon to fight. Is that an Impidimp? What was it? It was an Impidimp! Dang. Can't believe I spotted that from inside a bush. Hmm. I'm just looking around at all these new Pokemon, seeing if there's anything useful. Hmm. <laughs> Anything new and exciting. Yeah, because if I, I try to keep a, a fresh team in a new Pokemon game, by the way. Oh, there's a Pokemon Center. Oh, hang on. Let me just grab that real quick. Thank you. And there's a stage two Pokemon. You love to see it. Yeah, you don't really have a matchup uh matchup advantage or anything like that. But he's okay. Now, here's the question. Also, what are you? Hey, he went away. What are you? Come back. I wasn't done looking at you yet. What was that thing? Hello? Like, okay, go, go fight these things in the meantime, but also, what was that weird red thing that just popped out? Oh, you know what? I bet it was a, uh... Oh, yeah, that thing. Are you? Oh, it's an orthworm. Oh, okay. That's what I thought. <laughs> it, yeah, I was gonna say weird little red thing poking out of the ground. That's got to be. It's gotta be. It's got an engine though. Is this this is another steel type, right? I would love to get this guy. Let's add him to the team. He's like a ghost slash steel, right? Or pure steel? 
Oh, let's mess with him a little bit. Let's see what happens. Oh, damn. Okay. Well, I can't... Well, you know what? I can try a little bit more damage to him. It's not going to be very powerful, but... Maybe he'll survive? Oh, perfect! Now, let's see what this guy's deal is. If he is indeed a steel type, I can bring him into this next area. We got him. Totally got him. Alright, what's your deal? Give me that Pokedex entry. What do we got here? The, the, the room fu fumes. <laughs> what? Oh, he's a steel poison type. Well, that's creative. The section of the room is an actual body. Pokemon clings to the rocks and converts them minerals inside to fuel. Oh. Weird. Can I rotate him? No, I can't rotate him. Single cylinder Pokemon. Wow. Okay. Uh, you can be... Ah, uh, what's your name gonna be? Something, something... A clever Pokemon is that? I know, right? It's pretty cool. Let me think. I try to... I try to make all my Pokemon names, like, vaguely food-related. So he's like a, uh... He's an engine. <laughs> I don't know what to do with that. Uh, let's call him... gonna call you man I'm drawing a blank on this one about you know what maybe I'll no I gotta give him a name we'll call him Omu Omu Rice maybe we'll add him to the party too can he fit in anywhere? We can get rid of Shush, sadly. I mean, he's a rock type. He's not really going to do great work against the uh, the poison people. This Chiggery... Chiggery needs more space. He's a ghost and a grass. Yeah, let's get rid of Chiggery for right now. The only way he's going to evolve anyway is by walking with me, and I can't walk right now while also fighting these people. Okay, cool. Let's swap this guy out. Um, go ahead. You know what? We don't have anybody who can fight right now. <laughs> Let me heal up real quick. I want to send them in for that, uh, for that trainer fight. Get a little bit of XP while we're out here. I swear, we got, like, one dude who is, uh, is doing all of our heavy lifting for us. And it's it's all Honeydew. Honeydew is, like, our charging and fight stuff. The way Pokemon sinks its teeth into me is mainly through uh, the designs of the Pokemon, right? I love the super creative ones. The industrial site Pokemon are, like, super cool for me. What's the, what's the gear guy? Like, Clang? Cling Clang or something like that? Love that one. His final evolution is so cool. Oh, and the, the sword? The sword ghost? One of my favorites. Yes. Alrighty. Okay, so we're good to go. Now, here's the question. Can any of my other Pokemon handle being at the front of the pack? Let's find out. Like, that's the perfect matchup for you. Can you handle it? You can! Okay. Hone Edge was always a fabulous one. Oh, that's right. That's it. Hone Edge. I love that whole line, honestly. It's a good one. Can you fight that guy? Hey, hey Psyduck, can you... Can you fight this guy? Where, what, where are you doing? Can you come here? Come on. You're supposed to be fighting stuff. Okay. Now you're going. I think you got, like, stuck on a rock or something. I was going to say, are you not going to fight? Come on. Get him. 
I believe in you. Get him. Please. Really? All right, fine. We'll go fight something else. How about this guy? There we go. Now we're talking. Right here? There we go. I just need to, I need to line them up a little bit better. So my goal is to get Psyduck to evolve. Because I think he... Um, Golduck, does he have a, uh, a subtype? Does he have a subtype of Psychic? I can't remember. Can you? Okay, he's not He's not going to cooperate right now. Uh, let's go ahead and swap in... Put Shush at the front of the party for right now. While I fight this guy. Right now, we're basically training up a team that can take on the Poison Gym, the Poison Star area. So it's a little bit of, a little bit of training, a little bit of grinding. No big deal. Okay, a Gradient. Uh, you're gonna get Rock Slid on. I don't think I have anything I can really take down in normal types. I don't have any fighting people in my party right now. Right side, that's not gonna hurt me too much. Although I could get paralyzed by that move. Which would be really inconvenient. Please don't. I don't know what the chance is to get a uh, paralyzed from a body slam. It's gotta be like 20%, right? It's not insignificant. What else you got? Charcuterie's uh, cruising. Oh, Charcuterie wants to learn Flame Charge. Um, I don't know. Uh, maybe? 50 damage physical. Probably better than Clear Smog, huh? Yeah, let's get rid of Clear Smog. It's a little bit niche in its use, I think. I'm gonna send out Gumshoes. That's another normal type, I think. Oh, I could send out you. No damage from Sandstorms. Hmm. I mean... Jeez. Yeah, let's send out uh let's send out Omu. Let's see how Omu does. I could have sworn this guy was a ghost. Like the way he floats seems very ghosty. I would not have guessed poison and steel. <laughs> Uh, slower speed is higher damage, huh? Well, this is 80. <laughs> this is 80. I think I'm going to go with the 80. Because I'm pretty sure I'm faster than you. Ow. I guess I'm glad I'm not a ghost. Oh, you're so close. Come on. Oh, and you flinched. Guess what? You're going down. Okay, well, you know what? I guess uh, Omu can hold his own. i love to see it. <gasps> Is that a boop? Thank you. Bailin, thank you, thank you for the boops. Get some money. Um, okay, back to, back to kind of cruising through this area, I think. Who was our starter? It was a uh, fish. Fish is in the lead. And he can take on, he can take on a Diglett. We've established that. Or a Doug Trio, as it were. Oh my gosh, Sappy, thank you for the follow. I'm glad to have you sticking around. Welcome on in. This guy. These diglets. They're they're really gonna they're really gonna do me like this, huh? Oh no! <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Uh is he steel or ground? I think he's steel. Can he run away? Okay, cool. <laughs> I think I need to 
get myself a little bit of uh, HP back. Maybe you can maybe you can take that guy on. God, the dick, the dug trios are so bad. Can you take this guy on? I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm waiting for the, the sound cue that you beat the guy. Psyduck is so slow. I, I kind of wish we had somebody who was like faster running out here. Psyduck is just getting confused. Level 30? I think Psyduck evolves at level 32, if I'm not mistaken. It's either 32 or 36. God, I hope it's 32. If it's 36, we got a long ways to go. So what level is he right now? He is... She is... 30. So we need one more level, and then uh, we have to watch it. Because we can't... Uh, we can't... Hello, is that you? Yeah, that's, that's my guy. We can't level him up if he... If he gains the level from this auto battle. That's my understanding. It has to be through an actual fight. 33 according to what we found? Oh, okay, thank you. That saves me from wondering. <laughs> if it's 33, then we should have a pretty strong entry for this next area. And he's getting levels pretty fast. There's an elephant right behind me. <laughs> I love when the Pokemon just like creep up right next to you. Just all up in your space. Right there, come on. Psyduck needs to get a little bit more uh, agency and independence, I think. Just come on, you, you can find him. Find some fights to get into. Uh, maybe not that guy. It's a Meowth. Oh, we can take out all these guys, surely, right? No, nope, this way, this way. There you go. I don't think I can take out a Q-Fant. Let's find out. Uh, it can definitely take out a Roly Coley. Uh, yeah, no, okay, he's got it handled. I'm a little bit surprised. Pleasantly surprised. Be no problem at all with these Roly Coleys. He's handling himself. Okay. When you find like a, a cluster like that, it's like the perfect opportunity to just like toss in the auto battler, right? more levels were there. I don't know why we're specifically leveling up Jarcuterie. I think I just really want to see what he turns into. Uh, well, oh, jeez, you really just ran right into me, didn't you? Kind of rude, but okay. What a Zen headbutt for you. Well, probably not going to be as useful as Water Pulse. 60 versus 80? Yeah. Let's go Water Pulse. It might even confuse. Nah, no such luck. That's fine. I'll take him down. How do you think this guy evolves? I think it's just levels? It's probably just levels. You know, I don't usually like to use the old Pokemon in a new game. Ah, frick. I mean to do that. But for this particular fight, I kind of desperately need someone with psychic ability. And right now, Fish is the only one who's got it. But you know what? He's our savior. She is our savior. I keep forgetting. Fish is a fish is a girl. Girl duck. Oh no. She's getting tired. Understandable. I mean, we're having her fight like damn near everything on these planes. But one more level and you're there. That's good. Do you think... Oh, this is probably wore you out, right? Yeah, that's a wore you out. Okay. Well, let me go ahead and we'll swap you for... Who's going to do some work for us? I wonder if Omu can handle some, uh, some auto battles. Can you handle some auto battles? Oh, he's fast. How speedy this lad is. Ooh, 
Ooh, okay. Let's see what you can do. Okay, you don't like that. Okay. <laughs> so he's, he doesn't have much uh, oomph behind him. Good to know. What about green? Can you, like, take on a couple of fights? No, he's so... S <laughs> By comparison, much slower. Okay, you know what? It seems like, uh... For this particular zone, I think, uh... I think fish is gonna be our go-to. Can I jump on top of the Poké Center? Oh, please let me. Oh, if I'm on the boxes, maybe? There's no, there's no reason for me to be on top of the Poké Center. But I wanted to be up here. <laughs> oh, that's super cool. I love it. Alright, well, I'll tell you what. I think... What we have going on right now is a little bit of a, a little grinding session that I'm going to be doing. It's going to be like squeezing out a few more levels. I might do that kind of like uh, a little bit casually, uh, a little bit off stream maybe. Um, but I'm not going to make any progression at all. I'm going to stay in this area. I'm going to just auto battle for a few minutes. Um, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to wrap up the stream for tonight because we're already at like uh, three and a half hours, which is like my sweet spot. I think what we'll do is we'll send it over to our good friend Dag, uh, Snake Station, who is doing a 900 follower celebration. Uh, he calls it Hismas. You can get some free games while you're there. Uh, give me a second here while we, uh, I just want to make sure he's actually still streaming. I don't know why he wouldn't be, like maybe if he fell suddenly ill or something like that. One second. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he's still going. Uh, so everybody, let's go ahead and uh, let's wrap it up for tonight. I'll probably be back again tomorrow to play more of this game. So if you enjoyed, uh, if you enjoyed what you saw, there's more of it in store for you. I'm gonna do a slash raid over to Snex Station though, and uh, maybe we'll hang out with him for a little while. I think he's doing some community games tonight. It's kind of like a little celebration. And uh, Dag is a wonderful friend of mine. Um, we do collabs and stream together and stuff like that. Uh, so make sure you're giving him all the love. Uh, everybody, have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your evening. I hope you've had a good time here, and I hope to uh, see you again real soon, tomorrow even. In the meantime, have a great rest of your night, and see you soon. Bye-bye.